everyone, it's Anne here from Ann Makes. Thank you for stopping by. And today I have a Dollarama haul video to share with you. If you are new here, please click on the subscribe button below or on the Ann Makes on the corner of the screen. Don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video, whether it is a shopping haul video for arts and craft supplies, which is what my thing is, or a DIY and how to. So I went to Dollarama, which is a dollar store chain that we have here in Canada. The items range between one and four Canadian dollars. Uh, hopefully that's the max it'll be. <laughs> they should really ch change the name, I think. But anyway, um, I digress. So I can't, I don't remember. I think I went, this is the haul I did. Uh, about four days ago or four or five days ago it was just before Thanksgiving and uh, yeah and I'm just I've been shooting videos a lot today a lot of videos today I have a lot of hauls and I have DIY videos and stuff to do also so yeah I'm busy uh, so I was really excited to see this and I wanted to share this with you because I, I thought of you who are like me starting to shop for Christmas presents and all that and other types of presents that you need throughout the year I found this now looking at this it was just in the shelf and really wasn't I don't think the way it's set it was set on the shelf was a good way to display it or sell it but and it didn't doesn't look like much but I was drawn to the image and I was like, that looks like one of my favorite fairy tales. And yes, it is. What this is, it is called My Invisible Diary, Where Secrets Stay Secret. And it is based on the princess and the pea story. If you remember that story where the, you know, the princess, um, is tested to see if she really is a princess. Someone hides a pea under this pile of mattresses and yeah, and she finds the pea and all that. So, okay. So, uh, and I just thought this was really, really sweet. And it, it reminded me a lot of the cover on um, the original Princess and the Pea. So, what is in here when you open this pretty gift box is this, whoops. You open this pretty gift box and inside you have a little diary so cute it does come with a couple of keys and I already I took it out of the cello so I could there was cellophane around the box there was cellophane around the diary and uh, whoops I got the string in the way there and I unwrapped all that so I could show this off to you so this little secret diary kit was four dollars and i think this is such a sweet deal and a sweet gift so there we go so um i think this is what it looks like inside these are the pages of this cute little secret diary oh my invisible diary so it's very cute it has the lock and it comes with some pens that you can write with invisible ink. And so you can secretly see what you wrote later. There's this little like flashlight type of thing. And you, you, light, you flash that onto the invisible ink and your message or your, your secrets appear. Uh, so I just thought, I, and it has a little tag here so you don't waste the battery uh, for the little light so isn't that the cutest and sweetest little gift I just thought this would be a lovely gift for uh, a young lady or anybody that likes diaries or maybe is into fairy tales so yeah so this was available at Dollarama for four dollars and I, I couldn't wait to show this to you guys because I thought it's really really a nice gift it's only four dollars uh, show that share that with you now another find this is not completely new I've seen this uh, several weeks ago 
It is a pack of super gel pens. There are 24 in here. The scribble stuff it says on here. And I'm trying to see what it says on the back. On the back it says it's Mega Brands America. Mega Brands Mattel Sales Corp. So this is a division of Mattel. And the brand says here, Right Dudes. So you get here eight neon gel pens, eight metallic gel pens, and eight glitter gel pens for a total of 24. And as you can see, this is $4. So I look forward to opening this up and trying them out. And I will let you know uh, how these work and what I think of them. Another thing that I picked up that is for art making, arts and craft making, and again, I think this is a great gift idea, are these Mr. Sketch scented colored pencils, a, another great gift idea stocking stuffer. Um, Mr. Sketch is a brand, um, and these are the scented colored pencils that you twist, so no sharpening needed. Great for the coloring enthusiast. And the fun thing about these is that they have fun scents. They all come, each color has a different scent, ranging from uh, bubble gum to pineapple, blueberries, uh, mint, butter, buttery popcorn, sugar plums, uh, sugar cookies, <laughs> all these wonderful scents here. Okay. You can see that this is what comes in and these are four dollars so I think this is a this is a nice package and I will try those out too another gift idea that I would have for you is if you know uh, a young person who was into the play-doh do Vinci the do Vinci is a line that play-doh has for intended for like a little bit older um, kids that, you know, maybe past the stage of playing with Play-Doh but are still liking it. And they have this contraption, it's like, I don't know, a push pump kind of glue gun thing and you push out this kind of colored dough to make crafts and stuff. So they have these refills. Um, I don't have the tool itself but I thought I might have fun playing with the refills. And they had this color, these brights, I think it's called. This, that looks like brights to me, bright colors, and then these pastel colors. And this, I believe, was $2 or $4. So, uh, again, nice, nice gift packaging, so. And, and uh, yeah, nice gifts. And also, you know, it'll be fun to play with this. And if I have some little kids that come over to play, um, I could use this with them. Or I could just play by myself and pretend I'm a kid. Uh, another little crafty item I picked up were the mini yarns. I have hauled mint balls like this before of mini yarns. Uh, but I really wanted this bag because of the colors. Uh, I had some ideas of how I could use this. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to say any more right now. So you get 10 balls of these mini yarns, 100% cotton. I, what a good deal this is. Uh, I did compare these with something very similar, a brand name uh, yarn company. And I'm not going to say who because I do work with many companies. And wow, if you can get a hold of this, you could save a lot of money because this is four dollars and uh, some, something similar in other stores is a lot more. So what else did I find? I picked up some ribbon just because of this kind of rose color and I love that it's like a wrinkled ribbon and they had it in a wide and more narrow type. And I don't know what I'll do with it, but I love the color. I already have too much ribbon in my stash, but 
I, I just know. I don't know. I was drawn to this for something, to do something with this. And you get these rolls at Dollarama. You get about two or three meters. You get two meters on each, so that's about two yards. And this is $1.50. And the wide one is $1.50 also, and you get three meters or three yards. So you get a little bit more on here, but this one's wider. So... <clears throat> I saw these little lights that they're selling for Christmas tree lights, and they are battery operated. There's 20 LED lights in here, but I thought they looked a lot like little snowballs. Look at the round balls. I just thought, these might be really cute. And I think I might try to put, the, and they have weight to them too, they're, they're hefty. Uh, they're $3. And I think I'm going to try to decorate one of those little white Christmas trees that I purchased at another store. I'll try that for Christmas. Uh, this was a fun find. This was in where they have the tools and the hardware stuff. And it is called the Spiral Wrap. It is gar Gardener Bender. So there's three and a half feet and it's a half inch wide and ugh, it's hard to show you what it, it is, but it's this wrap thing that you wrap around like loose wires and cables. Uh, so, you know, you don't trip over them or cut them by accident. You protect electronic cables that you have. So I got a couple packages of this because goodness knows we have tons of wires running around. And uh, I just thought maybe we could try using this to corral all those wires we have going from the TV to all, you know, the the uh, Xbox and PlayStation and the uh, satellite box and the Apple box and the speaker box. <laughs> the zillion things we have our TV connected to. Uh, yeah, maybe we could corral some of those wires with that. That will be a whole weekend project, probably. I saw these jumbo craft sticks. I've hauled the colorful ones already, uh, but I had not seen the plain ones. So when I saw these, I thought, oh, I'm going to use these. I have an idea already of how I want to use some of these for some of my little shelves that I have here to make extra shelves. I think this will be just the right width. And these are $1.25 and you get 18 of these humongous tongue depressors or craft sticks. I picked up this bag of bowl filler. It's basically dried up flowers and twigs and like pine cones and stuff. Not, you know, and I, it's kind of silly now that I look outside. I live by a forest for Pete's sakes. Uh, but the these things I don't have in my area. And I just thought they might be fun to have in the, you know, because in the winter, if I get a DIY idea using twigs and stuff, I'm not going to go digging it out from under all that snow that we're going to get. No way. <laughs> so, got that. Oh, and then I found this, this is new, Dara Thai. It is made in the USA, I believe. Uh, it's from Dara Industries, DaraTai.com. And it says it has a bazillion uses. And it is, yeah, made in the USA. All purpose, uh, like ties. Like cable, like cable ties, but they're this rubber. So it, it, they show it here wrapped around like garden hoses. They have it here in a workshop for all sorts of tools and stuff. So I just thought, oh, I'm sure my husband could use this in the garage for corralling cables and hoses and doodads and hanging up stuff. So yeah, I thought I would pick these up. And I believe this was $2. I keep saying I believe because the prices aren't on here. So, um, and if I can find the receipt, I'll put the correct prices on the screen. I saw one of these. I've been buying them every time I find them because I just think they're a great thing to have for gift packaging. They're this spiral of tissue paper. 
that makes these curly things and they're only a dollar so I got another one of those I picked up some trim uh, I've seen it before some ribbon trim and I just wanted to get it to have in my stash for any type of project I might have and these are a dollar 25 and you get about three feet on here so is it three feet I believe it's three feet you get um, yeah you get three feet on here so dollar 25 for each one I picked up other sizes of the key rings that I did not have so I could just have them in my stash for no other reason than the fact that I want them in my stash for whenever I get a creative notion for making something and I need a little ring and each bag is a dollar twenty-five so I got the 30 milliliter and you get 10 the 35 millimeter and you get five so that is the biggest one they have and then 15 of the 25 millimeter so uh, in each bag is a dollar twenty-five oh and by the way they do make great pulls on the zippers from your suitcases because uh, it seems that every trip um, we come back and some pulls from the zippers on the suitcases have fallen off so I use these now on the suitcases. They're quite sturdy, they're strong, and they work. <clears throat> I picked up this little box of Home Deco, Home Deco, uh, Home Deco frosted glass marbles. Again, because they look like little snowballs, the kind that you make with snow, not my cat. And these are $1.50 for this little jar. It's quite heavy. And I just wanted to have these in my stash for little projects, DIYs, snowballs with a fairy garden, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I had also picked up these mini cupcake liners uh, just because they have a little black kitty, a little black kitty on the orange paper. And $1.25 for a hundred in these and again this is going in my craft stash for making like uh, rosettes, medallions, uh, paper clip embellishments. Yeah, I do all sorts of crafty things with those. I had a little bit of fun in the Halloween <laughs> section. I found this and I just thought it would be a hoot to have it. Uh, it is a royal scepter. I just thought that would be fun for Halloween to pretend that I am royalty or anybody that wants to pretend they're the king of the household or whatever. We will have a royal scepter for them. Uh, and this is $2. Now, it's funny because the Halloween aisle right now at, at this Dollarama is being shared uh, with the Christmas, the incoming Christmas stuff. So one side is Christmas and the other is Halloween. And on the Christmas side, I picked up these garlands, these fluffy white garlands. You get nine feet on here. They're $2.50. And I like that they're so shimmery. And I just picked these up um, for some DIYs. I just thought there's a lot of things that these could be useful for and some crafts and decorating, uh, wreath making, of course you could decorate a Christmas tree with them, that is the intention, but I just thought I would pick these up and I like that as much as I sh I've shaken them and played with them, they're not losing their their needles and their bits, so that's good, that's a good sign. So $2.50 for these garlands at Dollarama, nice and fluffy. Oh. <laughs> So I'm back to the Halloween side of the same aisle. I got these lace table runners. These are $3 each. They are the black. I hope you can see that. Yeah, it's like spider web type of mesh. And I just thought these would be nice to uh, cover some tables that I have at my entrance. So I could display some pumpkins and candles for Halloween. So these are $3 a piece. And they are very nice. They are 14 inches wide and they're 72 inches. So there's like 
uh, basically six or six feet long each one. So a good deal. And I picked up. Oh, these are the coolest bobbleheads ever. Check these out. They have skull bobbleheads. <laughs> And these are only a dollar fifty. I was pretty. I was pleasantly surprised to find them. And I got. Oh yeah, I got two different models. This guy, I think, had a skull fracture. <laughs> and then this, this one. Um. So I just thought these might be fun at Halloween, of course, and I might actually bling them up a bit or something. I'm not sure if I'll do anything to them, but they just think they're really cool bobbleheads for Halloween. They're really bobbleheads. Um, I picked up some of these flameless tea light candles uh, just because the color, it's more purpley now that I look at it. I thought it was more pink in the store, but I just thought I'd have this for any little projects I made of decorations to put here in my studio. I got this and I could use these all year round, not just at Halloween. Uh, I hate to say the word, but winter will be ready with these traction uh, cleats. Yep, that's what they are. These are cleats. They are like a rubber strap with spikes sticking out. And we wrap these around our footwear in the winter. So if we get caught, so I'm gonna leave these in my car. I'm gonna leave a pair uh, in the house here and I'm gonna leave a pair in my car and I have another pair for my husband's car. And I think I, yeah, I think I bought four. So one for my husband to keep it, my husband to keep in his car, one for him to keep at his office and one for us to keep at home and another one to leave in my car because sometimes in winter uh, we get caught off guard and the uh, driveways, the parking lots, sidewalks are super icy and it's just like death defying <laughs> adventures to get from A to Z. And um, so this might save someone from a broken leg one day in case they're not wearing the best footwear and what happens is that my husband and I often have to go to meetings and we have to we're dressed and we will have footwear that is not the best footwear to have on an icy winter day so maybe we could just slip this around our shoes or our dress boots or whatever and you know slip them off when we get to the door of where we're going you know stick them in a bag in our pocket or something so uh, yeah, that was the idea beside this to prevent uh, slips and falls this winter. Uh, $4 for these traction cleats. They say they are for snow and ice. Really, yeah, I don't know about snow that much, but ice, yeah. <laughs> so, got some of those. Another new item at my Dollarama, and it's an as seen on TV product. It is the pocket flip umbrella. I have seen this on TV. It's the umbrella that if you're, you know, you're in your car, you park your car, and you open the door, and you know it's raining, and to, you can open your umbrella from in, from within your car. Well, not inside your car, but it flips. So you, you know, you don't have to stick your whole body out out the car and get soaked by the rain. Yeah, so you can do this instead of this. See, you can do this instead of this. <laughs> so, and this uh, doodad was $4. Uh, it, I am definitely sticking this in my car. And yeah, I think this is a worthwhile purchase to have the flip umbrella to get out of my car on those days that I get caught in the rain. So I'm trying to get prepared for impending weather, crappy weather, with my cleats and my flip umbrella. <laughs> I, oh, I had picked up some more of cupcake liners. These ones with the little owls and the little owl picks and pumpkins. They're great for fall, they're great for Halloween, they're great for crafting, and 
are also great for lining your cupcakes. I picked up this pashmina. They have, they sell these at Dollarama. They call them pashminas. Uh, apparently it is 30% silk. It says here, yeah, 70% pashmina and 30% silk. And made in China, hand wash, cold water, lay flat. It says 100% viscose here, so yeah. Um, and they, they it says pashmina. It, it's kind of a small size pashmina, but I picked it up anyway because it's only three dollars, three dollars and fifty cents, excuse me. And it they had them available in some lovely colors, and I just chose this kind of rosy, pinkish color to uh, give some color to my my wardrobe this winter. I also got, oh, I just picked up a package of sakis. I like to throw these in my carry-on when I travel because uh, I can tell you that if you, when you get, like if you, your feet get wet when you're, you know, you're traveling, it's not pleasant. So at least if I have a backup pair of socks, I can put on dry socks, you know. It happens often that I'm traveling, get out of the airport, and it's pouring rain, step in a puddle, ugh, you know, yeah, so. Can you tell I, I'm trying to be really prepared for bad weather? With all my stuff here. Anyway, uh, I picked up these pumpkin stickers for decorating some pumpkins. Look at that, it's a kitty face. I just thought they're really cute. They're basically just uh, sticky back bling gems there to decorate on the pumpkin. And they are $1.25 a piece. I think I got a couple of those. I'm not sure. And what else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, a new item in the hardware section was also these long, look at these zip ties. These are very long zip ties. And there's only five in here because they're so long. They measure 47 inches. And they can hold up to 174 pounds. Tensile strength, 174 pounds, 47 inches. Wow. So these are mega duty zip ties. I have no idea what I could use these for. But I thought, hey, why not? Uh, for $3, I will leave these in the garage. And if ever we have a situation where we need to zip tie down something, man, we could zip tie down a person with this probably. I don't know what the heck we're going to do with this. But uh, yeah, we'll have it. And it's going to be one of those things where my husband is going to say, why did you buy that? And then the day will come. Where we're gonna need it and he's gonna be like oh good thing honey you bought it so another thing i bought is the auto protected wipes these are two dollars the pro auto wipes these are great for cleaning inside my car hint hint boys honey clean my car use my car clean my car so yeah Okay, I have a few more items to share, and that'll be the end of this video. I saw these sweet magnets with the unicorns. I just thought they were really, really cute, so I had to get these because I have, I know a lot of people who are into unicorns, and maybe I could gift these, these to them, so. Uh, you get these lovely magnets. There's 10 unicorn magnets on here, and it's $1.50. That. I picked up another one of these kits for make your own posters, uh, sticker alphabets. There are 97 pieces in here, it says. Yeah, uh, they are by the Sticko brand, and I think these were a dollar, one or two dollars. So it's a good deal. Now, again, uh, no price on the oh, yeah, there is a price. I got these stencils. This is a great find. Whoa, what, what a find this is. 
Waverly brand stencil. Uh, Waverly, you know, like the sheets and stuff. It's about, you know, home decorating. Uh, Waverly inspiration stencils. Uh, who makes these stencils? Uh, blah, blah, blah. By Plaid. Plaid makes these. I should have known that. Okay, so these are made by Plaid. And they are the Waverly uh, inspiration stencils inspired by their the prints of those fabrics and inside here you have 12 designs it's possible to make all these 12 designs I think there's multiple stencils in here I believe there are three stencils and these are three dollars people so you get these mega stencils for anything you want you could decorate fabric you can decorate your walls you could decorate paper crafts come on three dollars for these beautiful stencils so this was one of them. They also had this one, which of course I got it. You know, I love stencils. There's so many things you can do with these. I have shown a couple, I have done a, a video or two of things I've made with stencils, but the possibilities are endless. And also this design here, this is what, the outcome is of the stencils inside okay and yeah so there were I saw three at my store so I got one of each and last but not least they had these Disney page kits and I think these were three dollars oh, I wish they would put the prices on here make my job easier so they have this Disney page kit, and it's Minnie Mouse. And in here you get 12, 12 sheets of paper, uh, four sticker sheets, and a chipboard punch out. Chipboard punch out board. So, wow, what a nice package this is. And for the price, which I will try to confirm for you, uh, what a good deal this is. So these are my finds, uh, my recent finds at Dollarama. And uh, I hope that you found this uh, informative and interesting and maybe entertaining. If you did like this video, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and share. And stay tuned for possible DIYs with a lot of these uh, umbrellas and um, hopefully these work and nobody breaks a leg. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, stay crafty. Bye!